is it going everybody? You're watching then about Zach and today I'm gonna teach you how to create a 80% charging limit on your MacBook. That's right, just like you have on the iPhone 15 series, I'm gonna show you how you can set this up on your Mac. As you can see, I'm charging my MacBook right here, but the percentage is fixed at 80% and it just won't go above that. It's gonna be at 80% no matter what, even if I leave it plugged in for hours or days. And the coolest thing about this process is that it's super easy and also 100% free. And if you don't really know what I'm talking about, creating this 80% charging limit on your battery, let me explain it super briefly. So lithium ion batteries, so the batteries that are right here inside our devices, not only MacBooks, but of course your iPhone, your Apple Watch, your iPad, even your electric car, they don't like being charged past 80%. It's just bad for the battery. And as I said, that's because they are lithium ion batteries and because of their chemical nature, they charge in two different ways, from zero to 80%, that's called fast charge. It charges much faster and there is no problem to the battery. But then from 80 to 100%, it's called trickle charging and it charges your battery super slow and it's actually bad. It will degrade your battery. So then creating a limit like that and limiting at 80%, you're gonna have a much longer lifespan on your battery. It's gonna last much longer over the years. So. Let me show you how you can set this up on your MacBook. Okay, so the process itself is extremely simple and we need to download a software, one app that of course it's free. So all you have to do is open up your favorite browser, you can use any one, all right? And then go ahead to app, house, and there we go apphousekitchen.com. Of course, I have all the information on the screen and direct link in the description as well. And as you can see here, the app itself, the software itself is called Al Dente. Okay. So all you have to do is scroll down and tap here on download free. Uh, so there is a paid premium pro version, but we don't need that. Okay. For what we want, uh, for the charging limit that we want, all we need is the free version. So scroll down. Okay. Quite a bit until you see download free go ahead and click on it and then you have here check all and then go ahead here and download so as you can see this software itself is super small so it downloads in like no time okay so then you can already close your browser and then go ahead tap on your downloads and open up al dente right and it's your it's your typical dmg file so your typical software for the mac okay go ahead here and double click on it and of course you can go ahead and move it to the applications folder if you want to so double click on it and then wait for it to open up since it was downloaded from the web it's going to ask you if you want to open it no problem click here and open and then it's going to automatically open up you can already close this window and as you can see right there at the top it's going to already open up and like set up itself right and then already show you the 80 percent limit so you don't really have to do anything you just gotta open it up and then it's already installed as you can see right here and working one thing that's super important though is if it's the first time that you actually open this up that you actually download and install it right it's gonna ask you for a few permissions uh, so it's gonna ask you if you allow it to uh, have access to some uh, components of your Mac of course because it's gonna uh, limit your charging so then of course it's gonna ask for permissions so you can go ahead and allow everything and if it asks for your passcode you can go ahead and type in your Mac passcode and so on so then uh, just for you know if you see uh, all the windows apart from those okay uh, it's because I already have it so then I like, don't see those windows the installation just goes through but I have allowed on my Mac of course so that's pretty much it for the installation process but of course I want to show you in action I want to show you that it does limit and as you can see right here our battery just dropped to 79% which is perfect because right now I'm gonna get my charger all right and I'm gonna plug into my Mac and you'll see that it's gonna reach 80% and it just won't go above so let's do that together all right so we're at 79% as you can see so let's wait just a couple minutes until it reaches 80 but while we wait I don't know if you noticed, but on the latest versions of macOS, it's kind of hard to get this, to get your percentage right here on the status bar. So while we wait, let me give you an extra tip in this video. So uh, all you have to do if you want to get the percentage right here at the top is to go ahead and open up our system settings 
and then I'm gonna scroll down just a bit until you see control center that's right control center yeah that's weird uh, and then scroll down a bit until you see battery and right here we have show percentage so it's kind of hidden right so if you disable it as you can see it goes away and then as you re-enable it it comes back so now you know how to get your percentage right here on the status bar so just for that I think this video deserves a like, right? Oh, and by the way, pay attention to this. We are at 79, right? And we're seeing this icon right here on the battery charging. So pay attention to this because it's gonna change as soon as that reaches 80%. Pay attention. And so after a couple minutes, we're at 80%. And as you can see here, our battery icon has changed, right? It had the lightning bolt on it and now it has a plug. So that means that it's not charging anymore. The battery on my MacBook, it's just not charging anymore. It's just maintaining at 80%. And that's exactly what we want. And this will happen on your MacBook as well. As soon as it reaches 80%, you can wait like a few seconds, maybe a minute, and then it's gonna automatically understand that it reached 80% and change the icon. And then you know, it's just maintaining. Uh, I have one very important tip. If you're using Aldente on your Mac uh, in the long run, and if you're gonna use it every day, which is a very good recommendation, is that you calibrate your battery every month. Okay, so then every month you go ahead and run full cycles on your Mac. I mean, just one or two cycles, just to make sure that you calibrate your battery. I also have videos here on the channel and I'll link those videos teaching you calibration process card right here and link in the description down below. Okay, so that's pretty much it. That's how you increase the lifespan on your battery by just doing this very simple tip. So that's it. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next video as usual, guys. Bye-bye.